Snackhead, what's good? It's your boy C Snacks, and check it out for a special day because today is National Hot Dogs Day. Yeah, that's right, National Hot Dogs Day. So I was on the internet and I seen everybody dropping some hot dogs, like, uh, going to the store, regular hot dog. I want to do a little something different because this is, I'm going to show you guys how I eat my hot dogs. Certain hot dogs, I don't boil it in the water like everybody do, boil it like that, or on the grill. I'm not outside, I'm in the kitchen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry it on a skillet, but a certain way that I like to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys where I went. I went to Whole Foods, bam, big shout out to Whole Foods, got all the organic and everything, but the prices is mad high and yeah. I'm kinda happy that Amazon bought Whole Foods. Now I ain't gotta spend a thousand dollars for a tomato. So that's what's up. We're going organic. That's right, we're going organic. No GMO, no nothing, like semi-vegetarian, so to speak, but yeah. First thing you got to start off with, with some buns. I'm not talking that type of buns, but buns where you eat your hot dogs with. And this is a specific type of buns that I got from Whole Foods. These bad boys right here. Now, yo, you see these? You see how, this is, this is what caught me. I was walking by, I was going to get some regular buns. Nothing, nothing about no organic or whatever. It's the way these buns look. It looked like they put like some baby oil on them. You see how shiny they are? Look how shiny these are, man. He's a shiny. They was, I walked right by. They was like, give snacks, yo, pick me up. Picked them up, and on top of it, they're made from uh, Euro Classics. It's a Whole Food brand, Euro Classics, I guess what they call them. Uh, hot dogs, man. French recipe. Yo, in this, this is made with cage-free eggs. Cage-free eggs. So I was like, yo, bonus. And the back is made with all types, like, it's, it's uh, oil bread. None of that high fructose corn syrup, no GMO, gluten... Well, this it do have gluten in here. I couldn't go totally organic. Like I said, it's not vegan, vegan, but it's like vegetarian. So yeah, this is specifically, specifically, this is specifically why I got this bread. So bam, cause it's shiny, you know. Uh, these are the hot dogs I went with. This is it, field roast frankfurters. But it's not just regular frankfurters by beef or turkey or chicken, nah. There's no meat, it's strictly vegetarian real vegetarian frankfurters so i don't even know what's in here i could just check right now because i just read it says a vegetarian uh it's made with uh i didn't get to read this real quick damn <laughs> uh where is it oh uh, um filtered water vital uh wheat gluten yeah, that's mad shit in here. I ain't trying. You know what? Fucking just do it. <laughs> There's a lot of ingredients here. I'm going to try my best to read this off to you guys. I'm not that dude just pronouncing. I'm so ghetto with it. But I'm going to try as best as I can. Filter water, uh, vital wheat gluten, expeller, <laughs> expeller press, sun, uh, sunflower oil, organic, expeller press, uh, palm fruit oil, naturally flavored, yeast extract, barley, malt, tomato paste, apple, cider, vinegar, paprika, sea salt, onion, spices, whole wheat flour, garlic, natural liquid, smoked, uh, caraway, celery seeds, ground mustard seed, and paprika, and yeah, that's a whole bunch of stuff that I can't even pronounce, but I did the best that I can. Read a rainbow, anyone? Uh, yeah, so, boom, this is made by Field Roast. Vegetarian. I, ne I never even had this before, so this is, I'm happy to do this in front of you guys. Boom. Last but not least, the favorite ingredients that you gotta have in any hot dog at the grill, home, you gotta have mustard. I got me the packet from Hostel. I stole it when I was leaving out. <laughs> I ain't really steal it. You can have it. Got some mustard and I got some ketchup. But this ain't your regular ketchup. This is the better classic ketchup. The better classic ketchup, Brooklyn Brine Company. Now, what they mean by the better classic ketchup, yo, this is made in Brooklyn, Brooklyn style, uh, apple cider vinegar ketchup with uh, like pickle ingredients in here. This is crazy. Now, everything is like no GMO, no gluten or whatnot. So people who don't know and you heard of GMO, what's GMO? GMO is genetically modified organisms. Now, you got to think about that. Genetically modified organisms. So there's a bunch of dudes with white 
uh, doctor's outfits on with some gloves and sitting there experimenting and making and genetically modifying to make whatever you eat. That's just like the movie Jurassic Park. Remember when the guy had that mosquito and from that mosquito made all those dinosaurs? Yeah, that's basically what it is. They're making your food. So it's like, dad, make you think like, yo, there's not that much animals and food on this planet. They got to make it. Yeah, that's nasty, and I'm good with that. But that's what I got to do, this no GMO. Basically, everything you buy, especially food, that, that doesn't say no GMO is GMO. Yeah. A lot of candy that I've been eating got a lot of GMO in it, and I'm trying to cut it out, but I can't. So, guys, what I'm going to do is drop it on that skillet right there. I'm not going to put it, like I said, I'm not going to put it in the boiling water. I'm going to do it, I'm going to fry it pan style. That's how I eat my hot dogs. Come with me, y'all. Open these frankfurters up. Now, I never deal with these before. They're all, oh, shoot, they're all linked up. <laughs> Yo, it look like one of those those nunchuck things with the, like, this from the karate movie, like, anybody? I know you would do this. If, I know you guys would do this if you were home, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just cut it from, because I'm going to do two. So I'm going to cut it from right here real quick. Bam. Put the knife over there. Put the other frame footer. Um, I don't even know how to open this. I'm going to try my best right now, y'all. Y'all know y'all sitting home like, no snacks. You got to do it like this. Because, you know, when you're impatient, like for someone to hurry up and do something that you want to see me eat. And he's like, man, hurry up, man. Listen, I don't know how to do this. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little knife a little bit and just cut the tip. You gotta cut the tip. Right here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I'm supposed to keep it in this thing. I doubt it, this is plastic. Ah. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Look at this, man. Look at this nice vegan. Yo, this is not even me, son. I don't peel it like a hot dog. It's not even me. Oh. All right. <laughs> Take one out. All right. All right. So it's wrap it is wrapped in plastic. So don't cook it in the plastic if you buy this because I almost about to do that. If I didn't see this metal piece, I was like, you got you got to have to take this off, right? So boom. This is one other frankfurter. See it? That's one. And let me get the other one. Use the knife. Make sure guys, you don't chop off your finger with a knife. Arrgh. Like that. Let me see. I can get this. Man, why you make it so hard to open? There it is. Okay, you just gotta unwrap it. Like this feel like opening like a Twizzlers. You know, sometimes it'd be tough to open the pack because the plastic be sticking to it. Here it is. This is the second one. This is the second one. All right. So what I like to do to do is, oh, I almost forgot before. I got the heat on low right now. So what I like to do is, I put like a little uh, extra, even though you put this in like salad and stuff, the extra uh, virgin uh, olive oil instead of regular cooking oil, I'm just, might as well try to go a little healthy with it. I don't know. It's just, it is healthy, but because you use this on the salad. You don't put like corn oil or Crisco oil on your salad. You don't do that. Some people probably do. But yeah, put a little bit there. Just a little bit. That's why I like the extra virgin olive oil because if the pan could be hot already, you pour it in there, it doesn't go and pop all over your face. Um, I pour a little bit just to cook it uh, to kind of give the effect like uh, you're in a barbecue. So if it was frozen, you definitely have to split this open because when you put the hot dog on the skillet, it'll look like it's burnt and cooked when it's hot, but the inside is still cold. So what you got to do is you have to split the hot dog open. That, that's what you have to do. Even though this isn't meat, but you still, I st still say to treat it the same. Just slice it down the middle. I wouldn't hold it up. I'll just hold it down. You know what? Let me do this for you guys. Hold it down and just slice it in the middle just like that. Let me do another one. And slice it just like that. Back in here so you won't cut your finger off. Just like that. Bam. Then you just put it inside just like that. Yeah. Now. You make sure you get like a spatula or a tong. I'm going to get a tong, ta tong, tong, tong. 
Let me see your tongue. That body, that hot dog, that tongue. Make me see. All right. So uh, the thing about these, like especially on top of a grill, that's not frozen. You ain't got to cook it long. You don't got to cook it long, man. So uh, roughly, I say this will take maybe like eight minutes if it's frozen a little longer. I made two for me and my boy behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Mike Camish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm a, probably because I'm hungry. I might do another, throw another one on depending on how it tastes. Um, so, yo, yeah, man, I got to talk about this. I never had this before. And uh, I know about uh, Brooklyn. Uh, Brian. Yeah. I got to talk about this catch up because I know about Brooklyn Brian. I actually did like a comedy show at their because they be doing collaborations with Dogfish uh, Beer uh, Brewery. And also there's another beer that they uh, do a collab with. They're not just known for ketchup. They're, they're, they're known for their uh, their dill, their pickle. They do like cured pickle or like seasoned pickle. And they've been in business for about nine years. And it's crazy that they doing ketchup. This is what's up all the ingredients and they always specify in non-gmo so that's so dope they've been in business in brooklyn for about nine years and um it's not just in brooklyn they're like global worldwide they're in like japan canada france australia crazy man so they're like branching out they're extending them tentacles you know what i mean in business because that's what you're supposed to do um yeah man nothing but uh goodness inside this man apple cider vinegar inside the ketchup this is crazy and it has, it's supposed to have like this uh, pickle taste. So this is made with, if, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's made with whole peeled tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes, you can see it. And spices stew, slow, slow and low. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just something they have on there. This is the actual ingredients right here. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm not. Uh, the ingredients is a whole peeled tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, organic evaporated cane sugar, that's what's up, onions, tomato, pasta, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> onion, tomato paste, sea salt, and spices with fresh dill. Now, come on, don't that sound so good to be in the ketchup instead of the high fructose corn syrup, yellow dye five, number seven benzoid carburetor oil? This thing got none of that. This is this is Brooklyn's uh, this is Brooklyn's finest right here. This is Brooklyn's finest. All right. Back to the dogs. We getting back to the dogs. Getting back to the dogs, yeah. Getting back to the dogs, yeah. You get to tong, 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 tong. You're getting back to the dogs, yeah. All right. See, I'm going to show you guys. You can tell that they're cooking by the way it's, it's like kind of changing color getting a little darker turning light skin you know it's getting all drake on them you know what i'm saying getting light skin drake on them so these hot dogs could probably do both it could sing and rap <laughs> that was so corny <laughs> all right gotta keep moving them around man so me so when i so when i slit the uh the dogs in the middle it just helps it vent and uh so it could cook a little faster because for some reason, it doesn't cook fast or doesn't cook when you don't uh, cut it in half. Even though this is meat, it might be a little different, but I just treat it the same way. What's dope about any like vegan food is about, it's about all the spices that they put in there to make you think that you're eating meat. That's what I like about, um, and that's healthy about it, man. You you can get same, the same effect, but nobody knows. You go to, to, the, uh, to a cookout, your friends are eating hot dog and you're vegan and they don't even know it and you have like the hot dog they can't yo look at this you can't tell that this isn't like a regular frankfurter they're gonna ask for it and they'll probably eat it like yo this is, tastes good what is this You're like yo that's a vegan dog and boom next thing you know they probably turn vegan bro because it's all about the spices in it when, when you eat like burgers and stuff you don't just eat it straight raw like that cooking and eat it i mean you you can but you add ingredients you add seasoning like tomato ketchup mustard even you put a little, little little season on it that helps the taste what you think is uh the vegan stuff it's the season the same thing that's like but it's no meat it's all like vegetarian stuff like uh grains and stuff like that season that's all it is b grains is there grains in there yeah 
<laughs> there's this grains, man. The camera, cameraman don't even believe me. But yo, this grains in there, B. I'm getting hot and all sweaty right now. <laughs> yo, he don't believe me though. I, I'll rate it off again. Look at, he doesn't believe me. Where is it? I seen grains. Uh, ground seed. Oh, okay. So that's a grain. Anything? Um, garlic, ground seed, paprika. Paprika is no. That's not. That's a season. That's a spice. All right, you got me. There's no grain in here, man. But what I'm trying to say is like. Vegan food. <laughs> vegan. They be having all types of grains and and, and no, vegetables. there is no grains. <laughs> there's no grains. Yeah, there's no grains in this one. Okay, there's no grains in this one. I'm talking like I know history. Listen, I ain't nothing wrong with this. I go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm, well, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. But Joe, that's what Google's for, B. <laughs> all right, we're almost done with these because I know these don't take long, B. All right, snack heads, almost done. All right, should be done, man. Yo, in response, I know this is off me talking about light skinned dogs and stuff like that. In the response of uh, Drake and Pusha T, that beef they had, yo, Dre handled it like a G. He ain't got time because Pusha T's below him, man. He's below him. Like, I like Pusha T, but yo, I know what he was trying to do. He had some, he probably just didn't like Drake and had some, some real good. Uh, uh, input and he's like I had to do it to get some more fans he had it but it only went street it only went street like like the mainstream that's where you want to get to bro I know you want to street credits that's what he rap about and all that but yo it only kept it street Drake hit him with a little mixtape with that so he, that's the thing about Drake he don't just make this song this dude made a he don't just make dick this sorry that's the thing about Drake he don't just make this tracks he make this songs bro like that song was playing in the club how are you gonna be doing dances to his diss song that's crazy then he was like you know what that's it that's all i'm not gonna respond i'm not gonna feed into that that's like throwing like air into the fire man it's gonna blaze up nah drake dropped his album didn't say nothing and everybody bought it thinking drake was gonna go in on it but he didn't and you bought it but the album was dope he ain't got to say nothing to push the t look at that you don't even hear nothing about push the t no more Drake, man, you a genius, bro. You're a genius. Let me turn off the stove real quick. Bam. Now, guys, you can see it. It's a little dry. A little bit, but, you know, just put a little, little oil on there. Even if it was dry, man, what's going to make it nice and moist and with the spices and the, and the grains <laughs> is the ketchup and the mustard. All right, guys, let me take this out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go straight from the skillet into the buns. Now that's straight from the skillet, putting it up on these buns. All right. Frank for the number one in the bun. Frank for the number two in the bun. All right. Bam. Now the hardest thing for me to decide right now is should I put the mustard in first or the ketchup? Now, Whatever you want to taste the most of, I say put that last because it's going to be on top. So me, with the cut inside the hot dog, you guys can see it right there. You see it? You uh, crack open the mustard. Just like that. And you, it, it, you, you probably don't have to do it, but I like to do it. Just keep it open. Put it open a little bit. Take a little bit of mustard and just, just throw it all up in there just like that. You know what? Put a little bit on top because I didn't cut this one open like that much just like that bam now let's put some of this Brooklyn style Brooklyn brine ketchup that everybody's talking about all right put a little bit hit the bottom I like to be like an artiste with my ketchup like a little artiste oh that's exactly what I wanted to avoid <laughs> we're gonna get back to that one put a little bit right here Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. All right. Because I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm talking so much about it. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So what I'm going to do is take the knife and just try to even it out. This is way too much ketchup. You know what? Let me take a little bit off. Hua! Take a little bit more off. Hua! Yo, I was trying not to get messy, but you know what? I am not a chef. It's, it's snacks in the kitchen. You feel me? Snacks inside the kitchen. All right, man, this is it, B. All right, I'm, I'm leaving the, the cameraman this one because it's not so messy, man. I know it smells good. Woo, it smells good. I'm going to come to you guys 
so that you see what I got going on. I'm going to come to you guys. All right. This is it, baby. This is it. I'm all sweating from trying to cook in me. Take off a little sweat. Back in frame. Take off a little sweat a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Kobe! I'm going to get it one day. All right. This is it, baby. Vegan hot dog on some organic bun with organic ketchup made with pickles and mustard on National Hot Dogs Day. Like to taste it? Here it go. Mm. Oh my God. Yo. Mm. Hold up. Hold up. Mm. 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 Oh my God. Who's making love? To your old lady, why you out there making love? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, guys, first of all, I just got to tell you guys, it do not feel like I'm eating anything vegan. It, it tastes and feels and smells like meat. Oh my gosh, that, this Brooklyn brine ketchup? Oh my gosh. I paid about five bucks in Whole Foods for this. Five bucks. Guys, this is worth it. It feels like, that's why I got it, because it's made with pickles. You know, you people have the relish inside there, and they put the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like onion, chopped up mashed up onions. I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> but this is all in here. It tastes just like that in here, guys. Mm. I'm cleaning up my teeth a little bit. Yo, everything inside this ketchup just made a complete hot dog right here be banging. With the mustard, with the, the hint of mustard in it. Guys, this is banging, man. It's all about this ketchup. You see, remember the stuff that I spilled? Yo, I gotta go get some little bit more. Let me get a little bit more. Get a little bit more right there. Yo, this right here is a banging vegan meal. Special shout out to Lauren Toyota, man. Girl, listen, I'm about to cross over to the vegan side, girl. I'm about to cross over. You are the bomb. Yo, <laughs> vegan hot dogs, B. I'm hooked. That's it. This is what I'm going to be buying now. If I ain't got the budget, I'm probably going to do some GMO. But, yo, I'm all about this right now. This is banging. I got a share piece with my boy Mike Cambridge, man. The camera boy, man. Big shout out to camera boy. Remember Paperboy from Atlanta? Yo, camera boy in the building. His album about to drop next week, yo. His album is dropping next week, yo. Camera boy, camera boy, why you on that camera boy? Hey, <laughs> yo, so this is for him. I'm about to cook two more. Yo, big shout out to everybody doing National uh, Hot Dog Day uh, today. And yo, I almost missed it, man. But yo, he's right here banging. Guys, make sure you subscribe and make sure, please, check out every Monday. I'm going to drop a Monday morning snack mix with your boy C Snacks, where I'm in the, this kitchen right here, chefing up and trying crazy exotic different smack snacks and making put, mixing them together and making crazy unique and original recipes and stuff it's gonna be real ghetto but real fun it's your boy c stacks make sure you subscribe hit that notification button peace who's making love to your old lady while you out there making love <laughs> <laughs>